Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a plant hanger. So let's get started. Welcome to Hectanuga 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. To crochet this plant holder, I'm going to work with two strands of worsted weight yarn and a 9mm crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join in the first stitch to form a ring. Chain three. One, two, three. Double crochet in the ring. Chain one. Double crochet in the ring. Repeat to make 12 double crochet in the ring and this first Chain three will take the place of a double crochet and a chain one space. So chain one, double crochet. So continue around. Okay, I worked all the way around and I have 12 double crochet. At the end of the row, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to slip stitch to join in the second stitch of that first chain three. Now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, Five. Single crochet in the chain one space between the double crochets. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the space between the double crochets. Repeat all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I have one last loop to make. To make the last loop so that I end up in the center of the loop, I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to double crochet in the base of that first chain five. And so that means I'll end up in the center of a loop. So I can go right to the next row and start making my next row of loops. And this stitch might be difficult to find, so I'm going to place a stitch marker there. So now I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet in the next loop. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next loop. Now you repeat across the row. One, two, three, four, five, single crochet in the next loop. Now you repeat that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I have one more loop to complete, so I'm going to chain two. And I'm going to make a double crochet in the base of that first chain five. Now if you want to make another row you would just continue do the same thing. Chain five but move your stitch marker over and work all the way around in the same way. And I already have one here and I have worked one, two, three, four rows and I have 12 loops around. And I chained two cords with three strands of worsted weight yarn and they are both the same length. Divide your circle evenly and attach a cord directly opposite on the circle. So attach one cord directly opposite and then take the other cord and attach it directly opposite like that and then you will hang it from here and hanging it this way will let you adjust these so that they hang evenly. So you'll just place your pot inside like that and this will accommodate many different sizes of pots. And if you don't have rings like this, you could just tie the cords into the top row of loops. And I added a tassel on the bottom with some beads. And I'll put a link below for my video on how to make a tassel. And there's an easy plant hanger that you can make. 